Meantime, some of the most powerful people in the U.S. will gather in San Francisco this week to pay tribute to Senator Feinstein. The city has planned two events, and leaders in her hometown aren't the only ones honoring the political legend. Here's NBC Bay Area's Sergio Quintana. Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro was among the dignitaries at today's ceremony opening Fleet Week and dedicating the events to the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. We gather this week in San Francisco Fleet Week. We do so for the first time with the mournful recognition that one of its founders, U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein, is no longer with us. The first San Francisco Fleet Week was celebrated in 1981 when Dianne Feinstein was mayor of the city. In her first public comments since Feinstein's passing last week, Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi got emotional as she spoke about her friend and colleague. We gather in great sadness, though, with the loss of our Senator Dianne Feinstein. Pelosi was among those who accompanied Feinstein's remains from Washington, D.C. to San Francisco this weekend. San Francisco City Hall and Civic Center Plaza are going to be hosting the public viewing of Senator Dianne Feinstein tomorrow and an open-air funeral on Thursday. The public viewing tomorrow will be under the City Hall Rotunda. People will be allowed to enter City Hall and briefly pay their respects from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. All weddings that had been set for City Hall tomorrow have either been rescheduled or moved out of the rotunda. On Thursday, the public funeral outside City Hall on Civic Center Plaza will include a number of local, state, and federal officials, including California's newly sworn-in Senator LaFonza Butler. The speakers will include Vice President Kamala Harris, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, and Mayor London Breed. There will be a fitting celebration of her life, um, and we anticipate the Vice President Kamala Harris, as well as our current uh, California senators uh, and other guests that will be joining us. Thursday's public funeral is set for 1 p.m. Residents in the area can expect road closures and lots of security at and around Civic Center. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.